G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me. It's a terrible hot and sweaty day. Apparently it's autumn uh, here in sunny southeast Queensland, subtropical climate. But anyway, I'm down at our chicken pen. You can hear the quail again in the background driving me nuts and I'm trying to film. But I promised you guys that I would give you an update on the hatching out of quail eggs under chickens, whether it was good or bad. And I've got to tell you from the outset, it was an absolute, complete disaster. Now, everything was going pretty good, right up until almost hatching. Almost hatching time, and, and this is why I'm a little bit suspicious, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. So basically, you started off with collecting the quail eggs. I made sure the quail eggs were no more than a week old. I collected a whole bunch of them. I think probably about 35 or 40 or so and uh, whacked them underneath some broody hens because the concept is, and I've heard this over and over, that you can use broody hens to hatch out just about anything. And uh, since uh, I've got three good broody hens, I thought, well, I might as well try this quail egg concept, whack the quail eggs underneath them and see how they go. Now the caveat also is that we get quite a few quail eggs and we don't eat them all. In fact, we, we hardly eat them at all. Uh, I generally cook them up, give them to the dog and cat, or we uh, feed them to the chickens. So that is an issue. And I admit that from the beginning, that um, that could be a reason why this didn't turn out the way it should. But to cut to the chase, what, it was going pretty well. I put the eggs underneath them. Um, there was a time in the middle that it didn't go, that there was a few hens jumping off the nests and maybe not sitting on them as long as what I expected they would. The, it looked like they were abandoning, them, abandoning the eggs at some stages and I was worried that um, they wouldn't get the enough incubation to last for the 16 to 18 days for hatching out. But I've check, I checked them a day out from hatching and I can tell you most of the eggs were still there and uh, there were a few missing, but I put that down to the chickens doing what they naturally do, sussing out the eggs that have gone bad or broken, and eating them, which is a normal behaviour, even for regular chicken eggs, when they're trying to hatch them out. So I didn't think much of it. But today's hatching day, so it was, they either hatched out last night or today, uh, because it's the sixth, well, the 17th day, and uh, so it sh they should have been hatching out or hatched out already. The, the thing is, there is not one egg left. Nothing. Nada. Zilcho. Nothing left. Absolutely nothing. No sign of a quail at all. Now, the thing that makes me suspicious is that there was eggs up until hatching and then no, no eggs or quail. So did the quail hatch out and did the chickens then eat the quail? Because I've seen my hens before attack um, small birds that have one a small sparrow broke a wing in here and I saw it while I was working in the garden. By the time I came down the chickens were in a frenzy and there was not much left of it. So they are cannibals uh, and I'm thinking that the chickens saw the quails hatch out and then just ate the little baby quails and the eggs and left no sign at all. There's not even an eggshell left, which is quite bizarre. Like, I mean, no sign at all. Now, will I do this again? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. I get fairly good success hatching quail out just through my small Chinese made incubator worth 80 bucks and uh, I get enough for a backyard set up hatched out during that way. So perhaps hatching them out under chickens for me is really not worth the, the effort. I'd still have to brood them anyway. So I expected to find maybe five or six or I was hoping a dozen or so quail hatched out this morning and then put them in a brooder myself and, and nurse them up until about two, three weeks of age and let them out. But of course, uh, that's not going to happen now. 
It's an interesting experiment for me because it now, is no, now I know my limitations for hatching out quail underneath the broody hen. Uh, is it a myth? I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys have had more experience with that than me. If you have, write them in the comments below and uh, tell me about it. I'd be really interested to hear if you've had success or if you've heard of success, like first-hand heard of it, through other people using their hens to hatch out another species of bird. I'd be really interested to know if you have and the details of that. But for me, I think I'll just stick to my incubator and I'll write this down as lesson learnt. Um, yes, it could have been because I do feed my hens the odd quail egg. Uh, it could have been for that, that they, that they cannibalise the eggs. But I just think um, it's probably more like it didn't work out and the chickens just ate the eggs because they knew the eggs were bad or if they, some of them did hatch out, which um, regrettably I think that could have been the, the, the thing, they weren't happy with the, the different species being in their nest and they've eaten them before I've got down here to pick them up, shells and all, leaving no trace at all that there was another different bird there. So that's interesting, don't you think? Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye for now. There is not one egg left. Nothing. Nada. Zilcho. Nothing left.